Everything, just like DJing, right? When you're DJing, you're trying to get into this flow state where like you're making automatic muscle memory decisions. Same thing with producing. You get in a good producer flow state, it feels 10 times better because you're actually like creating and you're giving something back and it's the best feeling in the world. Whatever you find, if you find some like broken drum machine at like a garage sale for like 50 euros, use it and it's gonna be 10 times better than anything you're gonna make on a brand new machine that everyone else has. Where you have to go? Berlin. Back to Berlin. Only Berlin. Okay. Yeah. Berlin and then Sunday, two shows on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. How is it so far? Do you feel tired? Yeah. But like in a good way, I'm like... <laughs> ready. Uh, do you feel like more hyped or like just tired because it became like just a profession and it's not tiring anymore? I mean, it's like, it's like anything, but if you enjoy, it's a job that you enjoy, then like, you know, you wake up for it and do it. It's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's like, uh, it's like a good kind of tired. It means I'm like, I feel that a lot, I feel that a lot of um, DJs are having like a very hard time to concentrate or like to focus on all the parties that they have because it's very emotional to uh, entertain the crowd in general because you take the energy from everyone. Yeah, 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 you take, the energy comes in, you internalize it, I internalize it. And it, uh, yeah, and then it like, it has to go somewhere. You can't just store it in here, exactly. like all the, all the energy, so. Do you have time for store this whole energy? It, it takes me it takes me a while. I have a pretty good routine during the week. Um, I don't really party at these parties. Um, you know, no drugs, maybe a few drinks. Okay, yeah. so your routine is like very healthy. Pretty healthy. I get Just, back. I do. Uh, I, this is kind of an advice for everyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For anyone watching. When it hits, it hits hard. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't want to burn out. But, Not at um, all. I do a uh, no music Monday. Mondays, I sit on my couch. And it's nothing. Nothing. No headphones, no music, some Call of Duty, some football, and some uh, Uber Eats. That's just pure veg vegetative state. I heard from some um, uh, interviews from other DJs that uh, they started to not to listen to music uh, anymore, like not to enjoy it because they it's very it's a very chaotic process of like searching and knowing that you want to play one certain track in one moment and uh, it's it's pretty hard to just make a balance between uh, searching digging into the tracks yeah. and putting on the stage yeah yeah no the the digging the digging is important like it for me personally, I uh, it's all like preparation. Every track that I collect, I try not to listen to it too many times, so it's still like a little bit of a surprise. But okay, oh wow, it's very meticulously, <laughs> it's very meticulously like organized. The cue points, the BPMs, the playlists, the folders, everything is very, very, very well um, organized. Like just in case, I'll, so I can find it in the perfect moment. Otherwise. Everything's about balance. Because I listen to this music every weekend, during the weeks, if I do listen to music, if it's not digging, digging's its own activity. If it's not digging, okay. then I have to listen to the opposite music. I listen to like folk or country or, you know. I understand uh, because I'm not also from a perspective of a DJ, I'm also a young DJ. So um, yeah. I'm trying also to organize myself as much as I can, of course. Yeah, yeah. Tell me more about your production, um, production part. Like, how do you feel as a producer also? And how do you found your own style? That's the most fun part. Okay. I love sitting in my room and just working on stuff. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. But when it does, everything, just like DJing, right? When you're DJing, you're trying to get into this flow state where like you're making automatic muscle memory decisions. Same thing with producing. You get in a good producer flow state, it feels 10 times better because you're actually like creating and you're giving something back and it's the best feeling in the world. And then on top of that, if I end up finishing it and I can play it that weekend, 
that's, that's what I got to. amazing. Amazing. It's still fresh. Exactly, because still you just want to put it there and yeah. you think that no one heard it and yeah. you just want to still be fresh. Heard. It feels yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And that's what keeps you And going. it feels good also for you, so not only for the crowd. Yeah. Sometimes it's sometimes it's not that good, and I, I <laughs> you're I, like, oh fuck, I forgot to master it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I test that out. I'm like, ooh, that could yeah. be you know different, but uh, yeah, it's different on the stage. That's yeah. that's what keeps it going. It's like a very rewarding feeling. Um, and so I'm a producer first. That's what I started with, and I'll always be making music in some way. So yeah, that's. What about the um, um, setup that you are using for producing? It's pretty crazy. You ready? Yes. I am. Laptop headphones. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So it's like right on the door for everything from the laptop. Everything, everything in, in the box. Okay, that's a pretty motivational stuff for the yeah. people also and for the young yeah. ones. You don't, you don't need much. Like uh, you'll see a lot of producers Instagram flexing all their their gear. And all the gear. Stuff, but... Everything, even the photos, and all the time there is like. Um, aesthetic photo with their yeah, like no, own those are with like the LED lights having real instruments obviously is like a huge advantage it gives you unique perspectives but you don't need all that as just do it as ghetto as you can like just whatever you find if you find some like broken drum machine at like a garage sale for like 50 euros use it and it's gonna be 10 times better than anything you're gonna make on a brand new machine that everyone else has And then everything goes into the laptop. That's all you need, really. Like laptop, pair of headphones you trust. I do it on my AirPods a lot of times. That's where ninety percent of the tracks are made. Like, but at least you wear your headphones, and at least you know that in the headphones it sounds good because probably they're good headphones. So it's well, it's just like, the AirPods. But like because I trust them, and I've been. Ah, oh, me too. Also, I'm on AirPods yeah. when I'm yeah. Whatever, whatever headphones you pick, just make sure. You listen to all your music for like hundreds and hundreds of hours and uh, it tunes your ears. I was super curious. I'm Romanian. Hey. So we are very close to each other Balkan because. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And I heard a lot of sound that you were doing. I mean, I, I saw just one video in Instagram that it was pretty Balkan because I recognized it immediately. Hell yeah. Uh, how do you feel it? Do you want to do more Balkan sounds? I've always. I love them. I I I'm just yeah, like onto yeah. you know me and my friends. We are like oh my god at the party. You don't want to know. Oh yeah, no. It's yeah. <laughs> my whole producer life, like the past ten years, been trying to figure out, and I didn't have the skills. Trying to figure out how to incorporate Balkan music into exactly because the they have music. different instruments. Different instruments, like the different big scales, cabal, different yeah, yeah, the, yeah, different rhythms. Yeah. And it's been really hard, but 
I want to get better and better at sampling them, like because it's, it's part of part of my identity. Exactly, it's part of our I collective feel the experience. Same. And it's so fire. <laughs> and then playing playing these remixes and stuff in uh, like Germany, yeah. Netherlands too. It's actually been and hilarious. You see people crazy. like get they it. fucking get it, no? Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> because they want to move their shot, like their waist, you know, yeah, and they really want yeah, to, yeah. and they never knew how to do it, and they discovered the sound. They're like, like mind blowing. It's like brain, yeah, brain fog exactly. for them. It can be done in a tasteful way. So, yeah, yeah. Like the, the world has to know, because like we all know like Latin rhythms, like you know, you get yeah, there, like hips uh, exactly. You, but it's very close to Balkan stuff. Like people just yeah, because it's like. Yeah, we, we know the Latin bass and also like baile and everything, merengue, guaracha, yeah. and all of these sounds. But yeah. the Balkan is different. Like yeah. they have a little bit something different yeah. that can be, it but needs it to be the, discovered. That soul, it comes from the same place though. Like, like yeah. people just yeah. want to dance, have a good time, and it's like this warm energy. But tell me, like you were staying a little bit in Bulgaria before moving to uh, States? Yeah, so I was born in Bulgaria, okay. uh, spent five years, and then with my parents and my little sister, we moved to the U.S. Cool. Yeah, so young enough to, I was raised in the U.S., but like with this, you know, uh, and we would visit Bulgaria, visit our family every year, so still very much part of me and very speak the nice. language. And, very yeah. nice. And the last, the last and the last question that... Um, I wanted to ask if if you will come back to Poland. If I come back to Poland, yes, of course, course. Of course. <laughs> this energy here is unmatched. Like, yeah, I gotta... yeah, and like you will see exactly on the stage what is over there because probably you didn't see <laughs> how much crowd Hell yeah. it's over there. Yeah, so I thank you so much that we are talking. You know, uh, we understand your schedule and we understand how is it to do this thing. Yeah. It's it's tough and hard, but fun and nice. It's worth it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>